Oh no, Bree, say it isn't so. My dream of us being together has now been shattered because who somebody enjoys spending their 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 uh, special time with is big a big deal on Twitter. It's super important that everybody knows who everybody else is sleeping with. That's like the number one most important thing to people on Twitter. And um, apparently, we've got some spicy, spicy news about Captain Marvel now. I wonder if uh, new director Nita Costa will be writing this into the script. Now, interestingly, before I get to that, Brie Larson has uh, been making the rounds again, the press tour the past couple of days uh, over a couple of statements she's made now in support of Nita Costa who is directing Captain Marvel 2. Nita Costa, who's earned nothing in Hollywood, as far as I'm concerned, um, who has done one movie, who was hired before that movie was ever even completed. She did Candyman, which I'm sure will be awful. Um, and uh, there's one other film, I think, on her credit list. Um, but she was handed Captain Marvel 2. Why, why do people... Why does... Disney keep hiring these nobody directors? Well, it's because they know they'll just do what they say. They bring in directors that are relatively unknown and they say, Here, here's how it goes. You follow the formula. This is a Marvel movie. There will be no real stakes. Nobody dies. There'll be a lot of boom booms and a lot of CGI. Um, but you know what? You get to put this on your resume, but you don't get to actually do anything. Like, Regardless of the director change here, I don't think you're going to see much of a change in the Captain Marvel film, in the formula that, that Marvel has. Now, with DC, we did see a big change. We saw Patty Jenkins also didn't, you know, had had success with Wonder Woman, uh, but she was also a part of a team there. Then when she took more creative roles, more, more roles in the creative scheme, Wonder Woman 84 happened, and it's quite bad. Um, now, Brie Larson will be working with a new director, a new director for Captain Marvel 2 and Nita Costa. I thought that's interesting. I wonder if we'll ever really know why they left. I mean, everyone said Captain Marvel was just a massive success. Why fire the director? Uh, and she has high praise for the Candyman Helmer, a movie nobody's seen. Larson appeared on A Little Late with Lily Singh. Ah, no wonder I didn't hear about it. And over the course of the conversation, talked about working with DaCosta for the film, and which is currently, sorry, in development. And we'll see Larson reprise her role as Carol Danvers alongside Iman Vellani as Kamal Khan and Tayana Paris as Monica Rambo. It's amazing, Larson said, of working with DaCosta. I'm so excited that it's announced, and now I can talk about that. Nia is amazing, and she got the job because she was she got the job because she was the best person for the job. It's interesting that Brie Larson said that out loud. Um, it's almost like she knows she didn't deserve the job. Uh, imagine being handed a billion dollar franchise movie, um, and what many insiders at, at uh, of Disney and Marvel have said, um, the most important. Female, the most important character in the MCU, Captain Marvel, after uh, doing one movie that nobody's seen. This is my favorite part about this. She just gave an incredible presentation. I'm inspired by her. She has confidence. It's a big deal to step into this thing we know as the Marvel Universe. It's a huge thing to have uh, a leader who's just like, yeah, I'm meant to be here. Well, how did that work out for Birds of Prey? That movie was awful, and Disney rewarded the poor directing with a Pirates of the Caribbean franchise film, which I'm sure will also be terrible. Now, it makes you wonder, can you blame the director at this point? I don't know. I mean, if you bring in these nobodies uh, who probably aren't going to push back against Disney in any meaningful way, it's not like you're bringing in Spielberg and Spielberg's going to say, no, 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 Disney, this is how I'm going to do it. You're bringing in nobodies. Why do you bring in nobodies? Uh, especially nobodies that can check various boxes, in my opinion. Now, I, like many people, will be eagerly anticipating the release of Captain Marvel 2, and I hope Nita Costa proves me wrong. I sincerely do. I hope it's an excellent movie that is enjoyed by many. However, 
Um, she's got no track record for it. Just because you haven't done something doesn't mean you can't do it, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't. Marvel announced that DaCosta, who directed the yet-to-be-released Candyman sequel, uh, would be helming Carol's second outing at Disney Investor Day in 2020. DaCosta recently told the Wall Street Journal she was excited to be offered the film, but consider the magnitude of taking on another franchise film so quickly after the last one. Why? You're a your director, direct. Why, I don't get it. It was definitely an immediate yes, but I'd been mulling it over through the process. The consideration on my end was, you know, I just did a movie that's bigger than me. Do I want to do one that's even bigger? They should all be bigger than you. But at the time, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Of course, everyone says that. And I have been since I was a kid, and I've always wanted to direct a Marvel movie. I don't believe any of that. Um, I don't think anybody grows up wanting to direct a Marvel movie. Uh, they're all the same. Directors don't have much input on these films. I mean, go back and look at the last 10 and tell me if they felt markably different in any real way. And there's a dozen directors uh, over that same period of time. Uh, but now, what is the most important thing about uh, anybody, according to Twitter? Well, it's who you sleep with. Um, and Brie Larson did a wholesome video on her YouTube channel um about uh just taking a quiz about herself I mean, it's wholesome content good for you brie for not abandoning your youtube channel um after all the initial shine wore off uh, and in that video there was like a throwaway moment where she was asked you know the question was something like what would you be doing if you were 10 and uh uh, in the library, on the, or what would you be doing at 10 at recess or something like that? And her answer was, um, on the, in the library on the computer, uh, Googling how to figure out if I, how to know if I was gay. To which everyone immediately uh, took as her coming out. And of course, that is the most important, and most important characteristic uh, to Twitter. Captain Marvel star Brie Larson has queer Twitter in a tizzy today. After she posted a video of herself answering, answering personal questions, uh, YouTube channel wants to answer. She dropped a hint that she could be gay. Again, who cares? I don't understand this reaction. I'm not like, yes, another straight dude. Uh, it's so weird to me. In a video, Larson filmed herself passing the time with internet quizzes. Two or 450,000 plus YouTube followers were quick to notice that one of her answers seemed to drop a pretty huge hint about how she identifies. Larson, whose real name is Brienne Dos Du Desolniers, Larson seems better. I see why you changed it. Hasn't officially come out, however. Her representatives did not immediately return a request on comment. That feels carefully crafted, doesn't it? That feels carefully crafted. Um, and if you look at a lot of these replies, hold on. Where are, who's all these replies? Yeah, immediately internet watched this clip and many people pointed out this specific. In the clip, Brie at was asked, you're 10, how do you spend an hour of recess? She answered, searching wiki how on the library computer to how to know if you're gay. Now, I must point out that Brie Larson picked the option she was most likely to do, which means that she may not be, it may not be her coming out, just her choosing the option that best suited herself. Again, this was her answering a pre written question. Making yourself lose at your favorite game so someone will play with you. Going absolutely feral over new developments in your playground role-playing universe. Braiding your best friend's hair. Or leading a team in ancient ritual in the woods. So she just picked one of a multiple choice. And of course, Twitter loses their mind. Now, if Bree is gay, congratulations. Who cares? Uh, it's who you are. I, I, I mean, I support people being who they are. I, it's such a weird thing to just like be proud of. You just are that. And that's awesome. Good for you. Um, but Twitter is just so weird. I'm dropping hints that I'm gay. Is she? She's just picking one of 10 answers. Twitter, 
Twitter is like the lowest IQ weirdos on the planet. You know, her orientation has zero to do with her ability to act or to play roles. Um, and that goes both directions. I don't care who my superheroes sleep with IRL. And in fact, I don't really care about who they do, who, who they uh, sleep with in the actual superhero movies. Brie Larson said, I respect the straight community, but it ain't me. That's really not what she said. So they're just like claiming this. We find out Brie Larson is gay every single month and it never gets old. What? What? Once again, I must reiterate, this isn't confirmation about Brie Larson. That being said, excuse me while I go dissect every Brie Larson interview on the internet. Okay, bye. Who cares? The internet is weird. Good. Be gay. I, I'm whatever. It's not news. It stop stop acting like it's something to be worshipped. It's weird. That's why people think that folks that react like this are in a cult. Because this is how they react. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.